Hello everyone, Skids here and welcome to top 10 Fallout New Vegas mods that came out in December, January and February of 2016-17. As always, this is my personal list, so if you feel like I missed any of the mods or you want to recommend any of them to the other viewers, feel free to leave them in the comments, I will be glad to read them. And now without any further delays, let's get to it. Starting off, we've got Traffic by Uhmat. This mod, just like its name suggests, adds traffic to the road. Now, on some of the most frequent routes, you can see cars moving around. I personally only found cars in Good Springs and NCR Farm that is in the middle of New Vegas, but I'm sure there are a few more of these. I was just not fortunate to find them. Now, these cars are independent and you cannot drive them. They basically move around like any other NPC would, except that they look like cars which also means that there are still a few bugs with them. For example, they randomly turn around and turn back. And there are also no NPCs driving them, which can ruin some people's immersion. But nevertheless, I still think this is a very cool and original idea that adds a bit of life to New Vegas. And it is also something you would expect from a place that has working casinos and electricity everywhere. Another very cool mod that also uses this mod is NCR Truck Convoys. That adds three new convoys with NCR troopers that drive around the Mojave and I would also recommend that mod as well. When it comes to variety of cars there are a few different types. There is the huge truck that I saw near the NCR farm or the classic four wheel that can be found in Good Springs. Overall a very cool and interesting idea for New Vegas that I would definitely recommend. Next up we've got World of Secrets by Archer1. This mod is a quest mod that adds around 2-3 hours of gameplay into your game, over 600 lines of voice dialogue, new textures, sounds, new weapons, clothing and armors, and of course some new interiors and places for you to visit. You can begin this quest in Tab's casino, after talking to Tab's employee, and after that taking on a quest of finding a special informant called Broker. Now what I found really interesting about this mod is that it has a lot of detective work in it, especially at the beginning, and there is also one special part where you actually have to decrypt a message if you want to continue, which was something really unique for me that I did not saw in any quest before, and it was fun trying to decrypt the message itself. And it made me feel like a real detective. Other than that, the gameplay consists of classic combat, exploration and dialogue. When it comes to voice characters, I have to give praise to voice acting that was very good. And I also did like the combat aspect of it. For example, the first combat quest that you take on makes you go through basically different levels until you meet the final boss, which was also a pretty cool idea. Overall, like I mentioned, this quest mod will take you around 2 or 3 hours to complete. And I have to say it is one of the more unique experiences when it comes to quest mods in New Vegas. And therefore, if you liked any of the stuff I talked about, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Coming up next we've got Take Your Time by Clockwork Manatee. Now this mod is especially for those of you guys that are immersion freaks. As some of you may have noticed, whenever you perform any action in game like hacking, repairing or lockpicking, it doesn't advance time in game, which for some people may be a bit immersion breaking, since logically it takes you some time to actually perform all of those activities and therefore the time should advance. Now with this mod all of this is possible, since it allows you to set how much time it will take you to perform certain activities. These activities include bartering, hacking, lockpicking, reading books, repairing, including vendor repairing, weapon modding and also crafting at any sort of workbenches. In mod configuration menu you can set up how much time it will take, ranging from 5 minutes to a few hours. And whenever you perform an action, you get a small notification on top of your screen that says how much time you actually spent doing that certain activity. And some of the activities also come with third person animations if you activate them. Personally those third person animations only worked at workbench for me, so I'm not sure if there aren't any more of those or if they just didn't work for me, but they were a nice little addition to this map. One thing I personally don't really like is that I was freaked for a little bit after performing every single action, which can be a little bit annoying if you have to lockpick a few things at the same time or hack into few terminals. But other than that, this is a pretty cool mod and all of you guys that like immersion in their game, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Now let's take a look at Benelli M3 Super 90 by Gage Storm. This mod adds a new weapon into the game. It will be automatically added into your inventory when you launch your game with this mod, along with all the modifications that come with it. 
It of course comes with custom textures and model. Both of those were very good and I especially loved the model since I am a huge fan of shotguns and this one is especially beautiful. Other than high quality model it also comes with good looking textures that have a tons of details on them like all the small scratches and dirt on it that makes it fit in the Mojave wasteland. And I also really did enjoy the modded version that makes the weapon a little bit shorter, adds a cool looking scope to it and there are even shotgun shells on side of the weapon which was also a very nice feature. Other than that it also comes with its own sound effects that were a little bit too loud for my taste but otherwise I personally didn't saw any problem with this weapon. In combat it was also pretty effective, I used it in almost all the combat encounters you can see in this video and personally I don't think it was very overpowered and it worked just like shotgun is supposed to which means it was very effective in close range but not so much at long range. Overall a very good looking weapon and if you are a lover of shotguns and good looking weapons then this weapon is definitely for you. Next up we've got the North Road by the Overseer. This mod is yet another quest mod that adds a brand new world space into your game. You can begin it by going to the ranger station Bravo and talking to a lieutenant that is stationed there. They will give you a quest to hunt down a special individual that is hidden in the North Road which is our new world space. Since it is a new world space it includes a lot of exploration with a few side paths that you can take for some additional content. Other than that it of course includes tons of new stories, NPCs to talk to, some new weapons and of course tons of quests. And other than the world, new world space itself there is also a new side quest located in Jacobstown and also a new companion in Westside. Now when it comes to new world space it is fairly linear except for the side paths I mentioned. But I did like it since it changes sceneries quite a lot. I mean there are tunnels, canyons and even a small town located in the middle where you can get some additional side quests and also meet tons of new characters. The main quest itself is also pretty cool and it took me quite a few hours to complete it. So it is full of content and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So overall a very good quest mod with tons of new things to explore, tons of new quests to take and a lot of other additional content for you to explore. So I would definitely recommend it. Moving on we've got The Living Desert, Underpass Restored and more by El Pascal. This mod is still a work in progress and it is relatively small right now but I still decided to feature it because I found it interesting. Its main purpose is to basically repopulate New Vegas especially at places that are totally empty. Morator wants to accomplish that by restoring few minor cut NPCs or areas that the mothers haven't touched yet, fix and enhance vanilla NPCs to make them act more alive and add new travelers, prospectors and patrols to travel the major roads. Another interesting feature that Morator also has planned is the fact that uh, NPCs will actually react to your choices. So if you kill the ants that are located near Mojave outpost, NPCs are going to appear on the road there. Or travelers will also appear on long 15 again after you take out most of its threats. Now currently like I said this mod is a work in progress and so far only thing that matter did is restore the underpass which is a small town that is located in the north part of New Vegas which is a town that was already supposed to be featured in vanilla game but it was cut for some unknown reasons. Currently it has 7 new NPCs that only use the original NPCs dialogue that you can find on any generic NPC in New Vegas and it features a few homes, some Brahmin and of course the field where NPCs work at. Now like I said so far this mod doesn't have too much to offer but I'm really looking forward to stuff that Matter has planned and hopefully he can finish it. And that is also one of the reasons why I decided to feature it in this top 10. To let you guys know that there is a mod out there that is trying to do something like this. And therefore if I was you I would definitely keep my eye on it. Coming up next we've got Kidnapped by Fiends by Makaka22. This is a very interesting quest mod that puts your character in a very bad situation. When you go to the Sunset Sesperla headquarters after you roam around a bit you're going to be attacked by fiends and after that they are going to kidnap you. Now this mod is full of adult only content like drugs, sexual violence and non-violent sex so therefore if you're not too comfortable with it you shouldn't really try out this mod. I personally found the idea behind this mod interesting since it is not your usual quest mod where you take on some bandits or, or stuff like that and you are basically a hero. This time you're actually on the other side of the spectrum and you have to save yourself. Only thing that I didn't really like is the effect that appears after you actually wake up in the vault that is a bit annoying. Uh, 
I mean, if you're in the first person, you're always going to get this distorted image. And if you go into third person, your, your character is going to stumble a lot. And another small thing I didn't like is that after you actually escape the vault, before killing all the fiends, the quest completes itself. And only reason why I was able to go back and kill all of the fiends is because I remembered where it was on the map. Now, when it comes to the quest, you're going to need to do some things for fiends, like having sex with them or giving them food to give you your pip boy back and generally not really being a hero you usually are to just get out of this vault. Now it is a relatively short quest, so it will take maybe around one hour to complete, but I have to say that I did enjoy it, it was a bit different experience that you usually get, and if you also want to try something new out, I would definitely recommend this quest mod to you. Next up we've got a very small mod called Audible Pass Through Bushes Sounds by Mad Ace. This mod does exactly what its name says, and now whenever you pass through bushes, there is a sound effect which didn't happen in vanilla game. Now there is a difference between walking, sneaking and running through the bush and each time you have a different effect playing. Now unfortunately this doesn't have any sort of gameplay use so therefore even if you're sneaking on enemies and you go through bush they still act the same but I still think it is a pretty cool small mod that adds a bit of immersion and realism into the game. So now let me play you a quick sample of it. And yeah guys, I guess that's about it for this mod. It is really just a small mod, but I did want to feature it because I thought it was pretty cool and I would definitely recommend it. Next up we've got Natural Eyes, Megaton Hair and Mannequin Race by ZZJ. All of those three mods are cool and I wanted to feature them and since they were by, by the same water, I decided to just put them in one spot. Unfortunately, Megaton hairs didn't really work for me and I couldn't make it work in my game. And so all I can say about this mod is that it adds over 40 new female and 3 new male hairstyles that judging from the pictures look pretty cool and they are a nice addition to your Fallout New Vegas character. The mannequin race adds brand new race into your character creation and you can now create some good looking characters with it. And the only mod that I actually managed to get working is the natural eyes that replaces the eye textures with the brand new HD ones and it is also the mod that you can currently see on screen. Now since I didn't manage to make those two mods work I don't really have too much to say about them and when it comes to natural eyes of course these new HD textures look a lot better than the vanilla ones and I really couldn't decide which one I was going to use for my character and as you can see on screen right now they really are amazing and all I can say is, is that I recommend you to check those three mods out since I think they are pretty cool and they do deserve your attention. And last but not least, we've got Tactical Razor Rifle by Quicksilver 500. This mod adds a brand new weapon into the game that can be found near the north gate to Freeside. And it also comes with three new modifications. As you can see, it is similar to Laser Rifle in Vanilla New Vegas. However, it does come with custom textures and models. Of course, both of those were pretty good. I personally prefer the modded version of the weapon that makes it look even more futuristic. One of my favorite things about this weapon is its color scheme and I personally think that it looks very good on this laser rifle. And when it comes to model that one was pretty nice as well, even though like I said it reminded me of laser rifle a bit too much. When it comes to action it was pretty balanced, it was not very overpowered but it could also take out bandits without many problems and I think you can definitely use it in combat even against high level enemies. So overall a pretty cool looking new laser rifle and if you're a fan of energy weapons which are a bit rare to find on Nexus then you should definitely go ahead and check this one out. And yeah guys I guess that's about it. So by the time this video and the next one is released I'm already in school and therefore I won't be able to produce many more videos after these two and there is a chance there won't be any new videos until July so be prepared for that and anyway as I mentioned in the comments before I'm going to make a discord server and see how it goes. I don't really even know how it works or what it is about but some people asked me to do it and the reception in the comments on the last video was pretty positive so therefore I'm going to try to make it and we'll see how it goes. And yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout New Vegas content and I'll see you next time.